New at 5.30, a gas station controversy. Are you getting your money's worth when you fill up? Customers at one local station say they aren't, and tonight they are demanding answers. CBS 6's Kimberly Howard sought out those answers. She's live in Waterville. Kimberly, what are you hearing tonight? Well, Cody, the tank that supplies the fuel to these pumps here behind me has since been shut off. This gas station now only selling regular and diesel, at least temporarily. Meantime, an investigation is underway into how this happened and how drivers can be compensated. I got it three months ago. I Nicole Faye's brand new Volkswagen Jetta, which stopped dead on the road last week, shortly after she left this Sunoco in Waterville. It started shaking and then it wouldn't even turn back on. I had to put it in neutral and try to get it onto the side of the highway. Faye's car was then towed to the dealership, where she says mechanics drained this out of her gas tank. And it was basically all water. Her fuel pump now shot. This should be nice and clean. Mechanic Peter DiPuccio not surprised. What it would do, it would seize up the, the fuel pump. All these cars have all got electric fuel pumps in the tank. And if there's too much water in it, it will just shut them down. Now that means you have to drop the tank. And by doing that, you'd have to replace the, uh, the fuel pump and all the fuel. The final bill for Faye? It's about $875. This Sunoco is independently owned. The owner telling us off camera they're taking calls about possible bad gas pumped sometime between Saturday the 8th and Tuesday the 11th. They say regular and diesel aren't impacted. We're going to want to do that again? Albany County weights and measures came out Monday to test the pumps, something that's usually done once a year, March 17th being the last time they were checked, and everything was fine. But crews took samples Monday, which indicated that water did somehow make its way into the ultra grade of fuel, as well as the plus and premium grades. The question still is how. As Sunoco, the station, and the county continue to investigate, this advice. Well, I would suggest getting a receipt every time you buy gas. This again is the Sunoco on 2nd Avenue in Waterville. If you think you purchased bad gas here, it's important that you have your receipt and any paperwork from any repairs you may have had to do. The owner says those documents will need to be verified before any type of reimbursement can happen. The county says Northeast Petroleum is planning to come out here in the next day or so to flush out the gas lines and then eventually they will test this gas again. We are live in Waterville, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.